Hello and welcome to this episode of Product of the Week. I'm your host, Robin Mitchell. In today's episode, we'll be looking at one, two, thank you, Richard, the Pen Pineapple Apple Pen of wireless boards, the Blues Note Card Cell plus Wi Fi. And no, I will not be doing the Pen Pineapple Apple Pen dance. I am English, which means I have a sense of self respect and dignity that I must uphold. Pen Pineapple Apple Pen. The Pen Pineapple Apple, sorry, um, the Blues Note Card Cell Plus Wi Fi is an all in one solution for those looking for a development platform that doesn't just offer multiple connectivity options, but a powerful processor and environment that can be used to create all kinds of projects. Because this board is used in conjunction with another microcontroller or embedded system, it isn't actually programmed with code, but instead, runs a network system that simplifies connections between cellular and Wi-Fi networks. The first feature that stands out to me, because I'm an absolute genius, is that this note card uses an edge connector for connectivity to other circuits and power. Now, while this may seem like a drawback, it actually makes the note card awesome for two main reasons. Firstly, it means that projects can easily have note cards replaced in the future, so designs become future-proof. Secondly, it also means that projects can swap out different cards if features on one note card are needed, but not found on the other one currently being used. Of course, when we look at the features of this note card, it will become clear why this thing is totally awesome, but the edge connector alone makes this a cool concept for future designs. Personally, I see designs moving forward towards interchangeable hardware, not just for e-waste reasons, but for future proofing as well. Strap yourselves in because you're about to be blown away by the features that this small yet powerful card straps. The note card cell plus Wi-Fi, being a cellular system on module, is designed to work with an external microcontroller, whereby commands are sent via I2C or UART, and this can include anything from an 8-bit Arduino right up to a 32-bit STM32 or, my favourite, the CH32 RISC-V part. However, this board can also be controlled via C, C++ and Python via an embedded system, with the note card being used as an external serial device. At the heart of this note card is a system on module which utilizes an ultra low power ARM Cortex M4 with two megabytes of flash. Additionally, a high performance three axis accelerometer and temperature sensor provide environmental readings and a secure element helps to provide protection during the booting stage and also provides cryptographic functions. The use of embedded SIMs eliminates the need for obtaining SIM cards, as well as trying to insert them in, which can be an absolute pain, and an onboard GNSS and GPS geolocation module provides real-time location data. Not only does this note card support CAT1, CATM, and MBIoT cellular connectivity, but as the name suggests, it also supports Wi-Fi connectivity. This means that projects can select which network to use, as well as offering fallback networks in applications where connection reliability may be somewhat non-existent. To make matters even more brilliant, an optional second eSIM can be added, which helps for operating in multiple countries. As you know, each country has its own mobile standards and operators, which is a royal pain in the ass at the best of times. Finally, the M2 Edge connector allows for the note card to be used in other projects or with the note carriers provided by Blues. The first project that comes to my mind is IoT, well, specifically high reliability IoT. Simply put, as the note card offers two different connection options, an IoT device can always fall back on multiple options should it lose internet connectivity. Not only can the note card provide extra connectivity options, but the support for multiple cellular networks further increases the number of fallback options. So that's a lot of options. Such projects could include remote environmental monitors looking out for wildfires, security devices monitoring secure areas, and medical devices that always need to maintain some degree of connectivity. Another project that comes to mind is in industrial controllers. While this may sound a bit odd, imagine the sheer size of an industrial site. 
whether it's indoors or outdoor. Most equipment can use Ethernet for connectivity, but systems that move around, such as warehouse bots, need to be wireless. The NoteCard not only offers an excellent solution for connectivity, but it can be used for storing real-time data, including condition, error logs, and commands. Finally, the NoteCard can also be an excellent option for adding wireless connectivity to aging projects, or those that are considered somewhat retro. For example, a homebrew computer such as a Z80 or 6502 could utilize the note card as a network controller. The ability to have both Wi-Fi and cellular would make such a project highly adaptable and could even be used to create a portable retro platform that has internet on the go. Of course, this note card doesn't provide super fast 4G, so you would be very limited on how much data you can push through it. If you want to check out some projects that our own community members have been making using these cards, then head over to the Blue's featured platform on the Electromaker site with projects including Cellular Cargo Tracker, Intrusion Detection System, and Vehicle Monitoring System. Overall, the Blue's note card Cellular Plus Wi-Fi is an excellent solution for those needing multiple connectivity options, whether it's for redundancy or simply wanting to have different connection options. The support for multiple eSIMs means that you don't need to worry if your device goes abroad. The integration of GNSS and GPS means that you will always be able to find your device. And the support for Wi-Fi means that paid for cellular plans can be avoided. Connecting this card to your own microcontroller platform will instantly transform its capabilities and the ability of the note card to offload networking tasks from a host microcontroller means that your application code can spend more time worrying about application execution as opposed to what the network controller is doing and how it handles that data. So if you wanna get your hands on one of these boards, then head over to the official Blue store where you can buy this and all the note carriers that you'll need. And if you want to also look at some good tutorials, then I strongly suggest that you go to the Blue's official YouTube page where they have tons of content that means you'll never go wrong. And if you like the content that we create on this show and want to support us, then consider heading over to the Electromaker store where you can find everything you could possibly need for your next project. This is Robin Mitchell signing off. Thank <laughs> you.